1974 is a very big year for video games. Come to think of it, I could say that for every year between 1974 and this year. Oh well. Last year's big game was Pong. This year, it's all about Maze War, the first first-person shooter. If we're being true to history, Maze War was really first created in 1973 by Steve Colley for the IMLAC PDS-1 computer at a NASA research center in California. Kali would go on to found N-Cube in 1983. Originally, Maze War wasn't a first-person shooter at all, rather it was just a maze game where the player navigated the mazes in a first-person perspective. Kali would account the creation of Maze War some 30 years later in a 30 years retrospective on Maze War, quote, Maze was popular at first, but it quickly became boring. Then someone, Howard or Greg, had the idea to put people in the maze. To do this would require more than one IMLAC, which at the time were not networked together. So we connected two IMLACs using the serial ports to transmit locations back and forth. This worked great, and soon the idea for shooting each other came along, and the first person shooter was born." End quote. The multiplayer mechanic of Maze War, as Kali briefly mentioned in the previous quote, didn't come about out of want, rather out of need, as a single computer wasn't powerful enough to have multiple people in the maze. At least, that's true for early versions of Maze War. In 1974, Greg Thompson, a friend of Kali who helped develop Maze War, took the game with him to college. He worked on the game with fellow student Dave Lebling to modify the game into a multiplayer game that they had envisioned. In J.R.C. Licklidler's Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Project Mac Dynamic Modeling Laboratory, they got the game's multiplayer mechanic working over ARPANET. ARPANET could be a video all on its own, but all you really need to know is that it's the predecessor to the internet that we know today. Soon, the game would expand to allow 8 players through the use of a client-server system using 56 kilobit per second serial connections at MIT. People from other colleges could connect over ARPANET and then to MIT to play the game against people across the country. Today we sort of take that thing for granted, but at the time, it was revolutionary. Over the next few years, Maze War would go on to get a level editor, a computer dedicated solely to Maze War, a version that could use vector graphics, levels on different levels and floors, and bots that the player could play against. Maze War laid the foundation for every first person shooter to follow it. 1974 also saw another first, again from Atari. On July 4th, Atari released Grand Track 10 first car racing video game. The player raced against the clock rather than other cars. The game had a steering wheel, a gear shift, accelerator, and brakes. Atari competitors released spin-offs of Grand Track 10, as was common back in those days. Midway Games also threw their hat in the ring, with another first in 1974, with the first Japanese game licensed for North American releases. They licensed Taito's Basketball and released it in North America under the name TV Basketball. And that takes us to the end of 1974. This was a big year, I've, I've said that about every year so far, but this truly is a big one because Maze War laid the foundation for the most popular video game genre today. There would be no Call of Duty, no Halo, no Battlefield, no Quake, no Doom, no Wolfenstein if not for Maze War. In the next video, we'll go over 1975, which is another big year for video games. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.